What really happens to your leafy greens before they get to you? Leafy greens can take several different journeys on their way from where they're grown to where they're eaten in the United States. These journeys can affect the quality, the nutrition, and the carbon footprint of everything that happens to these leafy greens. All these leafy greens were grown in a closed, safe environment, but that's very different from traditional farming. In a traditional farm, lettuces, arugulas, herbs, they're all grown in the soil. It's not always the safest for the food, and it can't be done everywhere. Throughout history, humans have always grown food where it grows the best, where it can provide for people either year round or seasonally. And that has dictated where people live. And now that we've spread out, we're still growing food in those same places. And that journey for a traditional product is much longer than it needs to be. That does not provide the best food options for people all over the country. Organic farming still uses that soil, still uses land. It does it a little bit cleaner, not as efficient maybe as we can, and it still taxes things, and it's not very efficient. It's also seasonal, and we can't do it everywhere or provide food for everyone. It's a nice element to have, but it doesn't solve our food issue. As greenhouses have evolved, it's allowed people to grow things all over the planet. As they've gotten better, we've been able to grow better produce in for smaller markets locally. And that's what we're trying to do here at Eden Green Technology. We have developed a system and a greenhouse that allows us to provide you with safe, fresh food right in your own backyard. Take these arugula plants. This plant was grown at a traditional farm far away from where you're going to buy it. It looks happy and healthy, even though in the first week of its life, it's been subjected to crazy environmental hazards that have damaged the leaves and broken them off. It's been subjected to chemical runoff, animals trying to damage it and eat it. It's been run over by a tractor and it's been hand-picked eventually. And you get this much left. This product that's left is going to go into a package and onto a truck. As it sits on a truck, you're gonna lose 50% of that. That's right, 50% of produce never makes it to market because it spoils or degrades over time and doesn't meet the standards that we've set for our food. That product sits on a shelf or in a truck for two weeks and the whole time it's breaking down and getting mushy and losing its flavor, 30% of its nutrition gone just because we didn't grow it close to where you're gonna eat it. In contrast, this was grown in our greenhouse. It's beautiful, it's full, it's delicious. Everything that we started growing is still here. All the nutrition is in here. All of the vitality that makes this a beautiful, fresh plant. And it's safe. There's no soil. There's no animal runoff. There's no chemical pesticides. This is the plant as it was intended to grow. And it comes to you fresh, crunchy, and healthy. Delicious. We can grow lots of fruiting vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, strawberries, lots of herbs. So it's not just leafy greens. We can't feed the planet all leafy greens, but we can be part of the solution that brings fresh, safe food to you through Eden Green's vertical hydroponic technology. Thanks for spending time with me today. See you next time on Spill the Greens.